lot of you may know that it is possible to install Windows on the Raspberry Pi. But did you know you can do it without using Windows? You can do it all on the Raspberry Pi without needing a PC to set it up. Let's take a look at that today. So there is this tool created by BotSpot and it's available in Pi apps. It allows you to flash Windows from Raspberry Pi OS or whatever other operating system, Twister OS, other operating systems like that. That actually has Pi apps pre-installed. Anyway, let's take a look at it. So if we go over to this GitHub page, we can read about it and we can install it either. Or what I would prefer is to install it through Pi apps. So that's what I have done right here. So if we go to the flasher, so it's in accessories right here. So let's open that up and it's a super simple interface. So plug in a micro SD card that you want Windows to be installed on. So you can plug it in with a USB micro SD adapter or something like that, or you could do an SSD if you want, that would be the preferred method, but I'm just going to use a micro SD card heater. So what you want to do is select your version of Windows. So you can select one heater and then also you select your Pi model. So we just leave it at the default settings for what I'm going to do. You click next and then it will load this up and you select your language right heater and you select your device, which I'm going to choose these. You click next and then you have your installation overview. So you don't want to change any of this stuff, but if you want to overclock it, you can add that heater. So I'm just going to boost this up a little heater. And then what you want to do is click flash. And that's all there is to it. Let's come back when this is done. I am assuming it would probably take a while. Well, it's getting there, but I had to switch my operating system because the other one didn't have enough space on the card. So you will need a large card to do this. So any of the smaller ones, they're usually included with Raspberry Pis will not work. You have to have a large card in order to download the Windows image. So the, the card that you write it to, that size, you know, doesn't really matter at this point. Although you do want it big enough to fit it on, but the card with the operating system that you are using to write Windows will need to be large enough. Okay, finally it is done. This took over an hour, but we are finally to the screen right here. So the time it takes depends mainly on your internet speed, but also I don't recommend using your Raspberry Pi when this is going because it will use quite a bit of CPU, so it will slow down your Pi and if you use it, it's going to take longer. But anyway, we have this right here. And so what we are going to do is close that close everything on our Pi and then shut it down. And then we want to swap the drives and boot it up. So basically I'm going to remove the card that has Raspberry Pi OS on it and I'm going to put in the Windows one. So after my Pi is fully shut down, I turn off the power, remove the card, then remove the card from the USB reader, put that one in, Unplug the USB reader and now I'm going to switch on my Pi. There. Okay, so we are finally at the screen. So I had to do a little bit of fixing right here. So what I had to do is downgrade the UEFI firmware because the latest version has a bug in it. So I downgraded that using the link in the description. All you have to do is boot into Linux on your Pi and then replace the files in the boot partition with those. Hopefully they get that fixed soon. But now we are in this, and so we could install it on the same drive if we had enough space, but I do not. So I'm going to overwrite another card. So I just plug the card into my Pi, and then we can go hither and reload it. And then we can select this, 
So this is the installer one, but it's not big enough, but we can do this one. Hopefully it works because it doesn't exactly comply. Next, and then we choose the build install. Now I'm just going to speed through this process. So here we are, it rebooted, but it rebooted into this screen again, which isn't what we wanted. So what I'm going to do is just show So what I'm going to do is just shut off the Pi right here and then swap the cards and put in the one that I just wrote the image to. Now I'm going to turn it back on and see what happens. Finally, we are to the screen where we can set up Windows. So let's go through the setup process. And this is the moment we have been waiting for. Here is our fresh install of Windows. It's all up and running. So if you follow the tutorial, you should be able to get to this. But before you replace those boot files, I would check because they may fix the issue. Anyway, we are right here and I want to show you some things that you can do to speed this up. So what you have to do is go to the search box and type adjust and you should see adjust the appearance and performance of windows just click on that then you go to adjust for best performance and if you'd like you can do smooth edges of screen fonts right here but i'm just going to leave it at that do okay and now we have a sped up version however it has removed some of the animations and stuff like that there are other things you can do, disabling background services and stuff like that. But let's go to Edge and test out our performance. So let's head over to my blog right here. And that loads up maybe a little slower. I guess it's still loading right here. Keep in mind this is a fresh boot. I have not given it any time to do anything. Because normally this operating system, even though it's Windows and it may take a little more CPU power, it's quite fast. Let's head over to my channel right here. That's kind of loading up slower right now, but I'm sure if we gave it some time, it would speed up significantly. Let's try some video playback so we can set the resolution right here and then we can right click and go to stats for nerds and also keep in mind that if you are running on an ssd or a better micro sd card you will have a better experience however in things like video playback it may not make as big of a difference let's try playing this right here Yes, it is stuttering right now. It may get better. It's kind of tearing and skipping. So hopefully it gets better with time, but that is what you can expect on the fresh boot at least. And there are some other apps here. So if you want to explore more of these, see my video on that. I almost forgot. One more thing I need to show you is how to disable the RAM limits. So if we were to go to task manager right now, under performance, we can see we can't use our full RAM capacity right here. So what you do is you shut down the operating system, then you turn off your Pi, turn it back on, and as soon as you see the Raspberry logo, you start pressing escape on your keyboard. So press it here and it will get into this. So what you want to do is use your arrow keys, go to device manager. Then what you want to do, Raspberry Pi configuration, then advanced configuration, and then you go to the RAM limit here, you do disable, then you press F10 and press Y, you press escape, you go back here, and you can also adjust the display configuration if you want to adjust the resolution but you go escape again and escape. Then you do continue right here 
and you press enter then it will reboot into Windows and you will have your full RAM capacity. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it helped you get Windows up and running on your Raspberry Pi. And until next time, it's Fortnite Kiwi from Super User Project IO. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video.